Hello and welcome to Life with Art. Today we're going to be using these materials and I'll show you what they are specifically um, to make a porcupine picture or project today. So first of all I have two little pieces of paper, a white piece and a black piece. And then I have just an array of colors that I found. You can just get construction paper, small pieces, bigger pieces, whatever you find. But you want a kind of a nice selection of color. And then our main body page, I found a scrapbook piece of paper. It's brown. You can use construction paper. You can use a newspaper. You can use a magazine piece of paper, whatever you have in your house. But I'm going to start with this main piece of paper first. I'm going to turn it over so I can be drawing the main shape that we're doing together. And then we'll cut it out. So you want it to be pretty large. You want a porcupine body. So we're going to start with a rounded shape, almost like a big oval. And notice I'm only making about three quarters of the oval. Because on this part of the oval, I'm going to go up to kind of a point. And this is where his nose will be located. And then separately, I want to do two shapes for his paws. So I'm going to do a cross, do a line, come down, scoop up, and go back around and up again. And I'm going to make another one exactly the same. So this is his two little paws that we'll be gluing at the bottom of the picture here. So once I've drawn that out and you've drawn that out, I want you to go ahead and carefully cut it out. Okay, now I've cut out those main shapes. Here he is, he's going to go this way. And then I have my two paws for the bottom. We're going to start cutting out some of the other shapes. Let me move that away. He looks like he's wearing a little crown. <laughs> so I'm going to start with my white paper and I'm going to cut out an oval, just a small oval to represent an eye for my porcupine. So I'm just using the little square that I had and I'm cutting out an oval shape and then finally I'm going to use the black paper here to do a nose so I'm going to cut this paper and make a, um, a shape about the same size as the eye but again it's an oval shape and notice that I'm turning my paper to get it to go around okay so since I have these things cut out, I think I will go ahead and glue them down. So I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to put up the glue stick just a little bit. I'm going to glue this eye right here for my porcupine. I'm going to glue his nose on, so I'm going to turn this over, put some glue on the black, and it goes right on the tip of that point where we made it. And then I'm going to put glue at the top of these little paws and stick them underneath my paper. One, two, okay. And now um, I can just draw an eye. I can just do a circle kind of to border the eye and then I could just do a little solid eyeball, okay. There's his eye and his nose and his legs. We're only missing his spikes. So that's really easy too. So what we're going to do is take this nice colored paper that we have and we're going to cut rectangles. So I'm going to cut actually two pieces at a time to make it go a little bit faster. But you want to cut the paper so there's long rectangles. About an inch by probably three or four inches here. So since I cut those together, I'm able to have two. I want to say you want to cut about 10 
um, of these long strips or long rectangles that you're going to be using. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out four now. Let's do these two together. I do two of these sets, so that's six. This makes eight. And two more. Maybe I'll do over right here, do a green and then another yellow. I like the yellow. Alright. So once I've cut these strips, I'm gonna show you what's next and how we're going to attach them to finish off our porcupine. Super cute and super easy. Alright, so I have all my strips here. Let me make sure I have 10. I might have a little bit more. Let's count together. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, they're stuck together. Nine, ten. I do have two more extra, so I'm going to put those to the side. Okay, my next step is I'm going to take each of these strips and I'm going to fold it in half. By folding it in half, that creates a 3D version of my paper. So I'm folding each one in half. Just a simple step of folding it. And these, boys and girls, are going to be our little spikes for a cute little porky pine friend here. So after I fold these, all 10 of them, that was pretty fast. Now I'm gonna take the glue and I'm gonna attach my little spikes. I'm gonna actually attach them so they're going up. So he looks spiky. So I'm gonna take my glue, put a little bit on my paper and attach it around on his body here. So let's do the green one, yellow, and of course you can do any color you want. This is also, it's, this would also be really cute with magazine pictures, with other kinds of papers. Maybe your mom or dad has other kinds of papers around, um, scrapbook papers, or um, I don't know, just use your imagination on what kind of papers you can use. Maybe paper bags that you have from a grocery store. That might be an idea for cutting little rectangle shapes. What else? What kind of paper could you use? Maybe a paper from a notebook or from um, maybe a paper from the mail. Those are all paper sources. Oh, look at him. He's so spiky. I have one more right here. I'll put him right here. And see how they're kind of all lining up to look like his spiky little body? And the last thing I I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to take my marker again and give him a little smiley face with a little mark on the end there. And maybe some toe lines to finish him up. Okay, there he is. Pretty simple and super cute using our scissors and glue and lots of paper today. We created not only the 2D paper with the flat part, but some 3D paper techniques here to make him look nice and spiky today. Hope you enjoyed and hope you have a great time making a porcupine.